welcome to my youtube channel this is tegas creation i make videos from benin nigeria please do well to subscribe to my channel and like my videos and also give it a thumbs up thank you very much for today's outfits we're going to be making an hawaiian outfit a baby for baby photo shoots and camera purposes so for this outfit i'm going to be using um my yeye wool but this is what we normally have in nigeria then another this other color too so let's get right into the video i'll be using a 3.5 millimeter hook and scissors so for this outfit i'm going to start with i'm going to double my wool but if you have a heavy weight here you can use a single wool For this outfit, I'm going to make a magic circle like this. I'll put my hook through the magic circle, bring it out. Then I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. So into this hole, I'm going to put one, one double crochet into the next one double crochet i'm starting with the bra top before we go to the skirt so i'm going to make 12 double crochet 11 double crochet into this hole plus the chain three that what makes it 12 so i've done one two three four five so continue until you get 12 double crochet including the chain three the chain three counts as a double crochet stitch so continue putting one double crochet into the magic circle till you get 12. 11, my last double crochet, 12. So now I'm going to drag this rope to close the hole. So now it's closed. So I'm going to make a slip stitch into this first double crochet here. So this is how it looks like now. So for the second round, I'm going to chain two, one, two. I'm going to put a double crochet in this chain two space. It serves as a two double crochet. In the next, I'm going to put two double crochet into the next stitch, two double crochet into the next stitch. So I'll continue putting two double crochet into every stitch for this second round. So continue, I'll meet you at the end of this round. So I've done two double crochet round every stitch at the end. My last chair, I'm going to put two double crochet here. Then I'll slip stitch into this chain three, top of this chain three. We're done with round two. So for round three, I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. Into this same space. I'm going to put a double crochet. This says as a two double crochet. Into the next, I'm going to put one double crochet. Into the next, I'm going to put two double crochet. Into the next, I'm going to put one double crochet. So these are going to be our pattern. Two double crochet, one double crochet. Till we get to the end of this round. So I'll meet you at the end of this round. Okay, I am at the end of this round. I have two stitches left, so I'm going to put one double crochet into the last stitch. I'm going to make it two double crochet. So we're done with the first scope. I'll make a slip stitch on top of the three double crochet. We're done with this first scope. It's a baby outfit, so it's not actually it has to be a very big cup, just very cute scope. So I'm going to chain one, cut off my yarn. So we're going to repeat this process and make another cup. When you're done with the second cup, we'll join them together. I'm done with the second cup. This, this is the second cup I did. It's exactly the way I did this, that I did this. So now I'm going to join these two cups together. What I'm going to do 
don't cut your yarn for the second one you don't need to cut your yarn so join it together i'm going to chain seven one two three four five six seven this is the second cup remember where we cut our yarn at this point we cut our yarn i'm going to turn it like this i'm going to put my hook into this place this stitch here or let me just turn it this way and make a single crochet to join it so i'll join both together into the next or make a single crochet turn my work like this then into every into every chain i'm going to put one single crochet into every chain one single crochet So I'm almost at the last chain I'll put one single crochet so we can leave it like this so into this last into this other side of the cup I'll put one single crochet there chain one then cut my yarn can you see well, I've joined both sides and uh, both cups together we will be in our, our ends as we go so now i'm going to make the straps for the straps i'm going to get like the middle point of my bra cup so you can count one two three four five six seven eight nine nine i think nine is the middle of my cup so i'm going to reattach my hand there which is slip knot Then I'm going to chain one. I'm going to make 100 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Continue till you get 100. So I made 80 chains instead of 100. I didn't want the rope to be too long. So this is at the end of my 80 chain. I'll chain one. Cut my yarn. This is how it looks like now. This is how it looks like now. So in this other side, other cup, I will still count nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to attach my hand there. Make a slip knot. So make it change two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. So I've made my second strap for the bra so i'm going to make the one that will go to the back this one is to the back of the neck so i'm going to go to the one that will hold the bra to the back so i'm going to skip one two three four five six seven so on this seventh stitch here i'm going to put my hook there then attach my hand I'm going to make a slip knot. So this outfit is actually for a four-year-old. So I've attached it. I've made a chain. One chain, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to make hundred chains for the back. So continue making till you get hundred. So I've made 100 chains for this side. So the same thing, skip seven, attach a yarn, make the 100 for this other side. So I've made for both sides. This one goes to the back, right? This goes behind the neck. So what I'm going to do next is weaving all my yarn, then we'll be done with the bra. So, so weaving your yarn, you can use a tapestry needle or your crochet hook, just weave them in just to make your work neater if you cut them your work may end up getting loose so just weave in your yarn so i've done weaving in my ends see everywhere all nice and clean so this outfit you can use it for photo shoot like i said earlier you can also use it as a halloween costume 
so i'm done with the bra for the skirt we are going to take a measurement of the baby's waist that's what we're going to do so for the one i want to do now is for a four year old so i'm going to make her waist her waist is um 20 okay 24 inches i'm going to make it 24 inches so i'm going to make a chain 24 inches long in centimeters it's 61 centimeters so i changed my wool to the golden color that's what i'm going to be using for the skirt so i'm going to make a slip knot so i'm going to chain 24 inches that's 61 centimeters continue until you get your desired waist measurements So I made my chain. When it's stretched, it's supposed to be 24 centimeters. You can see mine is up to 27. So I'm going to look from it till I get 24 centimeters. So now I've gotten 24 centimeters. So I'm going to what I'm going to do next. I'm going to straighten my chains. The chains I made. I'm going to straighten them. Make sure the front part is up. Straighten them until I get to my chain one, the first chain one. So I'm going to make a slip stitch into this first chain one. So I've closed. It's not like this. So what I'm going to do next is chain three. One, two, three. Turn my work. So into this first chain here, I'll put a double crochet. Please put the double crochet into the right side so that your work will not turn when you get to the end so put it into the right side not the wrong side so you be very careful it can be very tricky so continue putting on double crochet till you get to this other end okay i'm almost at the end of this first round so i see how two stitches remaining So I'm going to put one double crochet into this stitch and one double crochet into this last one. So we are done with this round. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to make a slip stitch into on top of this chain three. So if you if you actually make your chain very straight, you will definitely get this something like this. So for round two, I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Into the first double crochet, I'm going to do a front post double crochet. Yarn over, pull out, pass through one, pass through the remaining two. Yarn over, back post, bring it out through the first, through the second. So I'm going to do one front post, one back post. Round for this round. One front post, one back post, double crochet. So I'm going to take it one more time to see, to show you. So yarn over into the next, pass my hook through this double crochet like this. Yarn over, take it through this first two and through this last two. So for the back post, yarn over, pass your hook to the back, put this one behind. Take it out, bring it, pass it through the first two, through the last two. So you do it around until you get to this point. I'll meet you there. So I'm I'm finished doing front post, back post. At the end, I made a slip stitch into this chain three. I made a slip stitch into this chain three space. So for round three, chain three, one, two, three. In front of this, on top of this um, front post, you put another front post. On the back post, you put another back post. So that's just the pattern for this round. One front post, one back post, double crochet. 
Ça continue à pousser mon enfant, tu poses votre pouce, tu regardes, tu dis ça, that's safe. At the end of this round, we are going to make a slip stitch into the chain 3. Chain 1, then cut your yarn. So this is the band. What we are making now is the band for the skirt. So this is the band for the skirt. So now we are going to make the fringes down. So it depends on what you are using. You can make it as long as possible or it depends on the length you want. You just make long fringes. And I'll teach you how to attach it so you can make something like this length. Just make plenty of this of this length here. Then we'll attach it to the skirt. So I made a lot of this. So I'm going to be these are the fringes I'm going to be putting into my skirt. So I'm going to count, let's say 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so got 12. I like making them equal so that I don't have to trim a lot at the end. So now I'm going to attach it to my skirt. So I'm going to be working only on the front post double crochet. So I'm going to put my hook into this first front post double crochet. Pass the wool through this hole. So this is how I fix my fringes through this hole. Then the space in the middle. Pass it like this. So I've done this one. I've done this one now. So I'm going to attach the second one. Into the front post double crochet. So I'm going to just be working like this into the put one here, one here, one, 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 one. So I fix everything around. So I'll do the third for you. So you can continue putting it on the front post double crochet. So continue putting the fringes, this is how it looks like. Continue putting the fringes, I'll see you at the end of this round. So this is where we are right now. I have done the fringes round, see how cute it looks. So at the bottom, you will notice something like this. This is how it looks like. So I'm going to trim it to make sure it's equal. Just trim a little from the bottom just to make sure everything is if not equal but at least it shouldn't should be a little bit even so here's the skirt so this is how the skirt looks like so now I'm going to make the rope that I'll put here to hold it behind in case it's bigger than the baby's waist just to hold it.